in addition to consumption function and saving functions and the cost functions we can also develop the capital function by using the investment function and it can be done by using integration so this is the capital formation using integration and we have the example number three on page number 466 of alpha c chiang's book of mathematical economics we are given an investment function as a uh, uh, as uh, explained over time that is t is the independent variable the capital initial condition is equal to zero that is when no time has passed the capital is equal to zero now we are to develop the time path of capital that is the solution of the capital function here we are the capital function is now being developed as we are integrating the investment function as we know that investment when gathered over time becomes the capital so the integration mathematically is helping us to do the same this is the uh, solution uh, the function that is given and in the next step we are solving this simply by using the power function of integration we have solved it however a constant of integration is generated which makes it an indefinite capital function so for that we do the uh, initial condition introduction we have the initial condition that is uh, we introduce t is equal to zero and the value of the initial condition is zero so when we solve it this becomes zero and further this also becomes zero so c comes on the right hand side now we can write it like this as a determinate function or we can also put the value which is given of the initial condition that is plus zero so this would become the final solution if the initial condition of the capital is equal to zero otherwise this can work if k naught is not equal to zero so that is just a matter of the initial condition however the remaining solution will be there and will be the same now we make a graph of it by considering another assumption regarding k naught let us assume that k naught is not equal to 0 it is equal to 1 when if it is, when it is equal to 1 we can make the graph like this to zoom out a little bit here on x axis we have time variable and on y-axis we have capital and we are plotting this graph that we developed now this is one this is the intercept here time is equal to zero so when time is equal to zero there is a little bit of capital which is equal to one units and after that you can see the graph is increasing as uh, the time is passing so um, it is that variable part of the graph that is this change now you can see that this is that variable part which is explaining this positive slope and a positive relationship between the time variable and the level of capital so in this way a consumption uh, a, a capital from function is developed and this is how we solved it by using the integrals thank you